Good afternoon. I'm Erica Sargent. And I'm Brett Edwards. This new video on social media raising coronavirus concerns. Dozens of maskless people packed into a nightclub in the western burbs. CBS 2 investigator Megan Hickey live in Franklin Park. Megan, even those in the music industry are calling the club out. Right, Brad and Erica, we've been getting complaints from residents and concert promoters alike, and now the Cook County Board of Health is telling me they are investigating. It was advertised as the Chi Town Takeover at the Pier Nightclub on Saturday night. Masks required to enter, limited capacity, the invite said, but the public videos tagging the venue show a lot of people. Few are actually wearing masks, and social distancing seems quite difficult. I'm pretty appalled by it. Dr. Rachel Rubin of the Cook County Department of Public Health tells me they're investigating the gathering and the organizers will likely be sanctioned. So we then pass it on to our legal team and then it gets sent to the uh, state's attorney and then they review it and decide whether to go ahead with some sort of more, you know, whether it's a fine or bringing them to court, basically. This is certainly not the only venue trying to stay afloat, albeit against state guidelines. Oh my God, how is this even possible? You know? Chicago concert promoter Eddie DeMouth tells me he understands it, but there's a reason he hasn't been putting on large shows. What's more important, you tell me, Megan, your health, your life, or a couple bucks? No brainer for me. And Pure Nightclub is far from alone. Just last week, we showed you these videos from a concert in Lombard. Today, the village told us Brower House was issued a notice and the State of Illinois Liquor Control Commission and Illinois Department of Commerce are actively reviewing their business operations. Now, just moments ago, the concert promoter called me back. She told me she was in and out of the building on Saturday night, but said that they had precautions in place. She said there were temperature checks at the door and that people were required to wear masks. She also said there was a 50 person maximum. Now, when I told her that there were several videos on social media that appeared to contradict what she was telling me, she said she was not interested in an interview. Live in Franklin Park, Megan Hickey, CBS 2 Investigators.